Yo, what's up guys? My name's Hacky and in this video, I'm going to show you some great methods to make easy money in GTA Online. You guys seem to really enjoy these money guides, so let me know if you want me to do these weekly and I could do like in-depth simple guides about the weekly bonus jobs and the best methods to do that week. I'd be happy to do that if you guys want to see that, just comment down below. If you go on to enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel, go ahead and drop a sub so you never miss any more awesome videos like these and turn on the notification bell too and let's get straight into it. So this first method is a very easy and fast one. It's going to be in our auto shop. So make sure you head into your auto shop. I'm not sure if you have to be in a public session to do this. I'm in a public session with not too many people, so I should be fine. And as I say that, we got two oppressors flying around. That's just amazing. I guess I'll take my chances. So the first method is going to be the vehicle delivery. You're going to have a vehicle sitting here or right there as well, or maybe both. So we're going to go up to the vehicle, press right on the D-pad, and we're going to need to put specific customization on this. So on the bottom right, we have a checklist of different things we need to put on it so service vehicle and then for the respray it's going to tell you on the bottom exactly which things to put so we got to put an orange paint job on it so just select orange which is going to be right here it says it's free right now but we're actually going to need to pay a flat fee on this after but we're going to make a lot more money than we're actually going to spend so it's fine once you guys have all the upgrades it asks you go down to where it says confirm and then you guys will see it's going to charge you 20k for it which is once again completely fine we're going to make a lot more money than that you need to spend money to make money so then just press on confirm and then for some reason this bottom option is grayed out for me which is actually a good thing because you do want to select this top option you don't really want to do the staff one just because they might crash the vehicle and then you lose money because of that you do want to do it yourself so then just press on deliver vehicle the top option and as you guys can see it's actually really close so you don't really have to drive all the way up to like sandy shores or something it's relatively close so you just need to drive a little bit and try not to crash it as well because if you do damage it you're gonna lose lose money so try your best and there you go looks like we're gonna deliver it to a nice house in the suburbs let me not run over you and there you go so let's see how much money we're gonna make from this once again we spent twenty thousand dollars so we made 40,000. So sometimes you might make double the amount. Sometimes you're going to make even more than double. And sometimes you might make a little bit less than double if you crashed, let's say. Usually you're going to make a lot more money than we did here. I mean, 40K isn't much at all. Basically a $20,000 profit. This just happened to be one that's not that great. If you have a super or sports car or just a more expensive vehicle than the Weevil, which we just delivered, you're going to make a lot more money. So just know that was like a minor example of how it works. And then to do it again, there's a little cooldown until you get another vehicle in here and now that I showed you a quick and easy method I'm gonna show you more of a long-term method that's gonna make you more money and that's gonna be in your bunker so go in your bunker it's good to do these combos that make you quick money along with ones that might take a bit longer but make you more money so log into your laptop inside of your bunker you guys can see I have some value on the bottom right there so you might find this whole thing a little confusing so let me make it a lot more simple for you so when you go into manage staff you're gonna see these three options now I have it set to both but you do want to have it on manufacturing so let me just go ahead and do that real quick if you're wondering about the research there's cool different things you can unlock through research so as you guys can see the more research you do the more unlocks you're gonna get so i'm gonna go to all here a good amount of people watching this probably already have whatever they want unlocked if you don't then i guess you can manage your staff and set them to both instead just so both of these bars up here actually fill up instead of just one of them but in this video we're focusing about money and the stock is what makes us money here the research once again just unlocks different cool things like camos and special ammo for mark ii weapons and stuff like that once again since we're focusing about making money in this video we're going to assign all staff to manufacturing which is going to make the stock level bar go up faster and another thing that can make it go even faster is the upgrades now these are pretty pricey i gotta say i'm not exactly sure how much they are but i already purchased all these basically this type of stuff could speed things up so basically hiring more staff is going to make you more stock faster so it's up to you if you want to spend money on these they are pretty pricey but long term you are going to be making your money back so that's up to you as you play gta online you're going to gain more and more stock so i have a decent level of stock so what i'm going to do go into sell stock and then whatever amount you have whether you have like only 10 percent full or like 50 percent like about me or maybe like 75 percent the more stock you have the more you're going to be able to sell it for so i can either sell it for 301,000 or 451,500 dollars it is a bit risky so 
I do suggest you guys do this in a solo public session or just a public session without a lot of threat. So I'm going to try to sell it for 451000 And since this is a fairly large sale, I'm going to have to do this with multiple vehicles. So it is a bit better if you have a friend or two in with you. Since I'm showing you this just as an example, I'm going to do the Blaine County one. So the Blaine County one is the closer one. And then the Los Santos one is going to be a bit farther. So you're going to have to drive a bit more. Since I'm just doing this as an example for you guys, usually you'd want to select the most expensive option. But since I'm just briefly showing you guys how this works, I'm going to do the closer one, which sells for less. But just know that you would want to make a bit more money selecting the bottom option. So now I got a friend in to help me. So I'm going to select the $300,000 one. And once again, if you do have the bar over like 20% full, it's going to require you to have multiple vehicles. So you probably do want to have a friend in with you to make it a bit faster. So then we're going to confirm it. Sometimes it's going to be trucks. Sometimes it's going to be these dune buggies or dune FAVs. We have 15 minutes to do these. So all we're going to do is just deliver the weapons to the drop off. So then just press right on the D-pad to deliver the weapons. So these vehicles actually have mines, which I didn't know about. That could have been helpful against the uh, NPCs. So there you go. So now we just need to leave the area, it looks like. So I'm going to request my Oppress Mark II. And this took us less than nine minutes to do out of a 15 minute uh, timer. So it really shouldn't take that long, especially if you have a friend with you. This should be pretty easy. And we got $313,000 just like that. So it looks like we got 12,000 more than it said. I'm not exactly sure why. I guess that's some sort of bonus. But once again, I do recommend you guys go for the option that's going to get you more money but i just wanted to show you guys this as a brief example anyway let's move on to the next method this next one is one of my favorites to do in the game and that is the security contracts in the agency so go inside your agency log into your computer but once you log in just go into security contracts and you have a few different options here you're going to see the payment amount and the level on the bottom right so we have professional for 70k we have specialist for 121,000, and we have professional for 70. the thing is though when i'm recording this it's double money in rp so it's gonna be half the amount for you but it's still really worth it i mean this thing double money in rp is insanely good but even when it doesn't have a bonus it's still worth it to do so it might not be as insane for you but it still is really worth it to do security contracts are fairly quick and you make a very nice amount of money out of them just like last time since i'm showing you this as an example i'm just gonna do one of the easier ones so this professional one for just over 70k and as you do more security contracts you're gonna get more passive income so the rate of getting money is going to increase in your safe. So on the bottom right, we got 7,500, but it's going to be a lot more as you play the game more and more. That's a nice little side income right there. The vehicle is extremely close. So we just got out the vehicle. So we got to enter the warehouse after them. And it looks like we're just going to need to destroy some ammo crates. So just take out a couple people. We're just going to blow everything up. Holy crap, what just happened? And it doesn't really matter if you uh, die which somehow I died from that. I thought I was thought I was far away enough, but it doesn't look like it. Then we gotta plant the satchel charges. So go up to one and then press right on the D-pad to plant it. Then he's gonna do the final one. And then all we have to do is exit the warehouse and we have about 30 seconds. So you don't wanna take too long. So now we have to lose the cops and in about 10 seconds, the warehouse is gonna completely blow up. So let's see if I could just call Lester or if I actually have to go and hide. I'm just going to hide for a little bit inside this building. Just like that, we made over $70,000. That only took a couple minutes and we made, I guess you can say somewhat close to 100k. We could have done the harder one and made about 120,000. But once again, I'm just showing you guys these as an example so you can see how they work. And now that this video helped you make some money, click the video on screen now for the worst things you should never buy in GTA 5 Online. I hope you all enjoy that video and peace.